The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Uh, and the tone of that politics, uh, which I certainly have not contributed to, I have not, I, I, you know, I, I don't think that uh, I was the one to prompt uh, questions about uh, my birth certificate, for example. I, I don't remember saying, hey, why don't you ask me about that? Uh, you know, why don't you... You know, question uh, whether I'm American or, or whether I'm loyal or uh, whether I have America's best interests uh, at heart. Uh, th 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 those aren't things that were prompted by any of actions of mine. Uh, and so what you're seeing I I within the Republican Party is, is uh, to some degree, uh, all those efforts over a course of time uh, creating an environment where somebody like a Donald Trump can thrive. Uh, you know, he's, he's just uh, doing more of what has been done for the last seven and a half years. And in fact, in terms of his positions on a whole range of issues, they're not very different from any of the other candidates. And it's not as if there's a massive difference between Mr. Trump's position on immigration and Mr. Cruz's position on immigration. Mr. Trump might just be more provocative in terms of how he says it, but the actual positions aren't that different. For that matter, they're not that different from Mr. Rubio's positions on immigration, despite the fact that both Mr. Cruz and Mr. Rubio, their own families, are the products of immigration uh, and the openness of our society. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.